What up YouTube, Andrew Scar Reviews coming back at you with another video. Today I'm sitting inside of a 2018 Subaru WRX STI. Now this is one of my dream cars. Um, I drooled ever since I saw it pull on the lot. And then I saw it on our website. It's in our inventory right now and we have a showing on it uh, for one of our customers tomorrow. So I thought I'd take it out for a rip tonight while I had opportunity. And let me tell you, I am very impressed. This thing is a ton of fun to drive. I have it in uh, sport sharp mode and it is snappy. Like the acceleration was even better than I thought it would be. I'm super impressed. You guys gotta check this thing out. So here it is, here's the steering wheel. All my gauges here. This thing's got 16,000 miles on it right now. Um, it shows your MPG up top there. Um, as far as the center diff, it's in auto mode right now. I didn't do any adjustments for that. Uh, speedometer goes up to 180. And then up here, you got your boost. It's really nice. All these digital gauges are really nice. And then you got this nice big screen here. Uh, Bluetooth connectivity, all that good stuff. And then coming down here to your gearbox and your shifter you know, six speed. And then there's the adjustments for the center diff and then uh, the different modes for driving. Of course, she's got the uh, the heated seats. There's a cup holders right there. Um, as far as these seats are super nice, they have leather bolsters all the way around and then uh, the ultra suede uh, Alcantara. So a really nice material. Of course, you got the STI and the headrest. Um, honestly, I'm really impressed with this interior. Um, it, it feels really nice. The seats are comfortable. It's not super aggressively bolstered, but um, I don't find myself flying all around. Um, and then all the way across the door panels, it's the, the ultra suede um, finish. I don't know, it just feels really nice in here. So I've never driven a 2018 STI. Um, I just took it around the block, so it wasn't an extensive test drive by any means, but uh, um, you know, just had a little bit of extra time and I really enjoyed the way this thing drives. I mean, it gets up and goes. I've driven some other WRXs and this one's by far the snappiest that I've driven. Um, to my knowledge, it's completely stock. I haven't looked under the hood or anything like that. But um, just super crisp and clean. The shifting's really smooth. The clutch has a really nice feel to it. Um, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, about 305 horsepower from the manufacturer. Um, the exhaust sounds really good. I'm not sure if it's stock or if it's aftermarket, but it has a really nice note to it, um, regardless of, of what it is as far as the setup goes. But yeah, just super pleased with this vehicle. Definitely uh, confirms the fact that I want to have one of these. This is one of my dreams cars. Um, so I'm going to be getting one of these as soon as I can get my hands on one that's going to be feasible for me. I figured out I could probably get this thing down to about a $500 monthly payment based on, you know, trading in my GXP and then putting a little cash down. I could probably get to a $500 monthly payment out of the thing. So uh, I'm super tempted right now to make a decision that I might, might regret. got the NK wheels and it's got the uh, the lime green calipers and the drilled rotors nice big hood vent there hood scoop I wish they still did the the fog lights right in here but that's probably my only gripe with the, the front is that they don't still do the fog lights but yeah super super sharp vehicle it's pretty low to the ground I kind of have to crawl into it but yeah, big Wang Gang, that's where it's at right there. It's got a really nice idle to it. Nice, deep, bassy sound. But yeah, she gets up and goes, she rips. I really like this car. I wanna buy it now that I drove it. I shouldn't have drove it. So yeah, I just popped the hood, and as far as I can tell, everything looks stock. I mean, stock airbox. Looks like the factory intercooler, I don't see anything that would suggest modifications of course I'm not necessarily uh, all that acquainted with Subarus so you'll have to collect, correct me if I'm wrong on that but looks mostly stock to me all right gang that's all for now thanks for watching and uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you've not subscribed to the channel already thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video